Wow, that was so good. Uh, and what an orchestra, my God, aren't they incredible? Seriously, I haven't had this much fun since uh, that trombonist back there slid into my DMs, okay? <laughs> okay, that was rude. Um, now I'm realizing I just was set up for that moment right now. Uh, anyway, I think it's time, since these fabulous musicians have come from all over the world for me to kind of put them on the spot and, and get to know them a little bit. What do you think? All right. So I've got this, got this microphone. Wow, really diverting eye contact. Hi. hi. The looks of terror I live for. Hi, hi. Some of them want it too badly, though, I can tell. Oh my God, the harpist, look at how fab, don't they all look fabulous? My God, it's amazing. Look at you, wow. Okay, stand up, please. Uh, yes, look at this. So, here's a microphone. What's your name? Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started playing. I believe this is a flute. Yes, I'm one of the flutes and a piccolo player for the Pride Orchestra. Fabulous. My name is Sergeant First Class Troy Palantonio. I am stationed at Fort Meade, Maryland, and I'm part of the United States Army Field Band. <laughs> also, I think we have to talk about peaches for just a second. Look at this gown. In the military, we would call that a dress right dress. <laughs> so. As long as you don't call it Ross dress for less. Okay. <laughs> um, now, I, I uh, think it's interesting that you're from, you're, you're not from, but you're stationed or posted, how do you say, in Maryland. Yes, yes That's in Maryland. where I'm from. That's mm -hmm. where I grew up, was in Maryland, and uh, near the Naval Academy. And I have to tell you, like, when I was growing up there, we didn't have anyone. I mean, it was before Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Mm -hmm. And now, you can be authentically you, yes. right? How, how's and, that going? Uh, I joined the military in 2010 when Don't Ask, Don't Tell was still in effect, and I'm very, very proud to serve in a military that does support its LGBTQIA community, and that's why I'm here, to be in uniform to send that message to you. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. We have twins here. Can you find the other one? It's like a game. <laughs> She's around. Oh my goodness, look at her! Please, you have to stand up. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty special uh, night when you get to see someone in full drag blowing this horn all night long up on stage <laughs> in this orchestra. Tell us about yourself. What's your name? First of all, what's, what's your drag name? So my first real name, uh -huh. I guess we need that, is Sean Kennedy. Okay. But in drag, I am known as Peacock, the goddess of tuba. Fabulous! <laughs> Where are you from, Peacock, and when did you start playing the tuba? So I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Santa Fe, and all that area. A, sm a polite smattering. In yeah, a polite, yes. polite smattering, I see them. That's right. I see my people. Yes. Um, I started playing tuba back in middle school in rural New Mexico. I was kind of the one. I kind of was decided to play tuba. Uh -huh. And then I kept on playing it, playing it, and playing it, and blowing more horns. Oh, and I decided this was for me. <laughs> so then I kept on studying and studying and studying, and I went to the University of New Mexico, and did my undergrad, then I went to the, the Penn State University, did my master's, and then I went and did blow, blow, uh, horn blowing at Texas Tech. Oh my God. And got a doctorate. Oh my God. And now I work as a drag queen playing tuba at an acid trip building. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> She is so San Francisco, like without being, so, like you look like a coquette, you're at, working at an acid trip building, playing tuba, and this is the other weird thing, like you went to Penn State, I went to Penn State, that's where I graduated from, he's at Maryland, this is like, this is your life, Peaches Christ, <laughs> this, whole, this whole show is starting to weird me out. Well, nice to meet you, let's hear for Peacock, everybody. Woo! 